Hi there, thanks for tuning into this video from Red Tape Translation, where we help you navigate German bureaucracy without the stress. So, you're applying for your freelance permit or artist visa in Berlin, but you don't have any freelance contracts lined up with German clients yet? Not to worry. It's time to get creative. After all, that's why you moved to Berlin, right? You can provide the immigration office with letters of intent. Are you a graphic designer? Find a freelancer with a registered business in Germany and convince them to let you redesign their letterhead. Or find a small business website in German that is so out of date and ugly that it makes you cringe. There's so many of them. Offer to redesign it in exchange for a letter of intent. A musician. You've got to know at least one friend or a friend of a friend who manages a bar or cafe in the city. And if you don't, go make one. Yes, but what about us opera singers? If you've had a successful audition with an agent based in Germany who's willing to recommend you for work, have them write you a letter to that effect. It's a start and we've seen it work before, so take whatever you can get. It doesn't matter whether your letter of intent comes from a sole trader, a limited liability company, or a partnership. What is important is that the business's German tax number, VAT ID number, or commercial registration number is visible on the letter, along with their registered business address in Germany. Any business in Germany, even a freelancer, must include these details on any correspondence. So that bogus letter from your brother-in-law on some fancy letterhead isn't gonna cut the mustard, unless it's an actual registered company in Germany. One last thing, your letter should be in German. Why? Because it's a crucial part of your application. The numbers, the way your client describes your work, the language they use to indicate how they're hiring you. Minor misunderstandings could cause major delays. So if you've got a letter but it's not in German, email us a PDF and we will translate it for you quickly and carefully. If you found this video helpful, let us know by liking and commenting below. Don't forget to share with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos.